So it's the day of the burn, and, and hopefully you have all your personnel there. Now we need to think about what PPE gear, personal protective equipment, you need to have or insist that all the members have. Now some of this is very specialized forestry fighting gear, but it works well in prescribed fire. It's all flame retardant. It's all meant to protect you. And we're going to start at, at the top. We're going to start at the head. We insist that all of our burners, when they're working on an active fire, have headgear. We also provide for them goggles. They will save your life because they'll allow you to see. So hard hat and goggles are where we start. From there, we're going to turn to flame resistant, flame retardant overcoats or, or shirts and they make specific shirts that are flame retardant. They also make pant layers that are flame retardant. If you aren't going to go out and spend the money on those, and you're looking at about $100 to $125 for these implements, you can use all natural cotton, you can use jeans, nothing with a screen print on it, so no t-shirts with screen printing, because that screen printing can melt. So all natural underwear, all natural pants, shirt, you don't need to go this route. You want to have really sturdy leather boots. You need good ankle support. Leather is, is very tough. The Vibram soles will help you if you have to move around a hot ember. We also want to have leather gloves. We're going to be working in and around fire with hand tools, with drip torches. We're going to be moving fire onto the system. We're going to be putting fire out in certain areas. You need to protect your hands. Lastly, you need clear lines of communication. You need two-way radios that are fully charged. You need to have on hand extra batteries. You need to know or let your crew know where those batteries are so they can change them out. I start every burn with new sets of batteries in my radios. So have clear lines of communication and the proper PPE, you're set to have a safe and productive fire. There's a few key equipment pieces that you need to have on hand and that the personnel need to have access to if you're going to have a successful and safe burn. Iowa State University Extension and Outreach has put together a free downloadable publication that you can print off that showcases all of the available hand tools out there on the market.